Today, fellas, as we all know, disasters have devastating aftermaths. In this video, we're going to discuss the risk factors, cause and effects, and mitigations of different types of disasters, such as flood, landslide, earthquake, and fire accidents. Floods are natural disasters characterized by the inundation of land with water often exceeding the capacity of rivers, lakes, and coastal areas. It usually occurs when an area experiences an overflow of water, typically due to a heavy rainfall. Various factors contribute to the risk of flooding, including geographical location, proximity to bodies of water, urbanization, and climate change-induced weather patterns. Human activities such as deforestation, improper land use, and the construction of dams can also worsen flood risks. And the combination of these factors underscores the importance of comprehensive flood risk management strategies to mitigate the impacts of flooding on communities and ecosystems. As a result, floods pose significant threats to communities. And the combination of these factors underscores the importance of comprehensive flood risk management strategies to mitigate the impacts of flooding on communities and ecosystems. Flood caused significant loss of life, displacement, water contamination, erosion, and service disruptions. They also pose risk to agriculture, causing food shortages and economic losses. Additionally, they can cause waterborne diseases due to water contamination sources. Flood mitigation strategies include floodplain management, flood control infrastructure, stormwater management, early warning systems, community preparedness, ecosystem based approaches, climate change adaptation, insurance, financial protection, post flood recovery, and international cooperation. An accidental fire that sparks and causes property damage, injuries, or death is a cold fire accident. Inadequate fire safety precautions, incorrect handling or storage of flammable things, electrical malfunctions, smoking, and cooking accidents are risk factors that lead to fire incidents. The reasons might be anything from equipment problems like overheated appliances, or defective work to acts of neglect like leaving candles alone or not properly extinguished cigarettes. Furthermore, fire accidents can also be a cause of natural disasters like wildfires, lightning strikes, particularly in the area that are sensitive. Fire accidents have significant adverse effects on human life, property, and the environment. They cause loss of life, injuries, displacement, property disruption, and environmental degradation. Mitigation involves preventative measures such as maintaining fire system, implementing building codes, educating the public, and preparing communities for emergencies. Sustainable land management, advanced technology, and collaborative efforts are crucial for early detection and containment of fires reducing vulnerability and enhancing resilience to fire accidents. A landslide is a downward movement of rock or debris on a slope. It can be triggered by various factors including geological, environmental, and human activities. Slopes, weak rocks, and soil layers and their presence of faults or fractures can increase the susceptibility to landslides. Environmental factors like heavy rainfall, snow melt, Earthquake and volcanic eruption can also trigger landslide by saturating the soil, destabilizing slopes, or providing additional forces. Human activities such as de deforestation, mining, construction, and improper land use can exacerbate landslide risk by alterating the natural landscape, removing vegetation that helps stabilize slopes or adding weight to unstable areas. Therefore, the causes of landslide are often complex interaction of various factors and understanding this risk factor is crucial for mitigate, mitigating their impacts and reducing 
vulnerability of communities living in landslide prone areas. Landslide can have a devastating effect, including loss of life and property damage. Landslide can also cause environmental degradation, habitat loss, disruption of ecosystem, contamination of water resources, and economic setback due to infrastructure damage and loss of livelihood. Mitigation measures involve land use planning, engineering solutions, visitation management, early warning system, public education, emergency preparedness, and infrastructure design to reduce vulnerability and minimize the impact of landslide. An earthquake is an abrupt and forceful movement of the Earth's crust triggered by the movement of tectonic plates. The effects associated with an earthquake are numerous, including landslide, tsunamis if underwater, injuries, infrastructure collapse, and long-term economic impacts. An earthquake is primarily caused by the movement of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface. Earthquakes occur due to the buildup of stress along faults, resulting in a sudden release of energy. Other contributing factors can include volcanic activity, human activity such as mining, or severe-induced seismicity, and, occasionally, the collapse of underground caverns. The primary and most devastating effects of an earthquake is the destruction it can cause the buildings, infrastructure, and other man-made structures. This can result in use of lives, displacement of people, and economic losses. Earthquakes can also trigger secondary hazards such as landslide, tsunamis, and even volcanic eruption in some cases. Employing these mitigation strategies, the effects of earthquakes can be minimized and the resilience of communities can be enhanced.